Welcome to Bernina Tool Tips. Our topic today is the Bernina 880 and Bernina Embroidery Software 7 with Susan Fears. Thanks, Catherine, and welcome, everyone. There's so many great options that you have when you have Designer Plus software and a Bernina 880. Because you can design stitches in the 880, you can take those into the Designer Plus software, and then you can plan different arrangements with them that may be a little more challenging to do when you're trying to sew. So you can design stitches, take them in to the software, and you can go vice versa. So you can take stitches that are in the software that already exist and take those into the 880 because maybe you want to sew them or maybe you want to import them into embroidery as a scattered stitch. So there's lots of different options. There are, there are stitches, sewing stitches, that live on the Bernina 880 that are not in the software. So sometimes it comes down to how do you want to plan your project as to which one you're going to select. So what you need to to work with this is you'll need your your 880 and your stitch designer. You'll need a USB stick because that's going to be what goes the device that carries the stitch from your computer to your 880 and vice versa. And then you'll need the designer plus software 7. So the little daisy that you're looking at on this little napkin is um, designed in the 880 through the stitch designer and then brought into the software and then I did a three-sided box and I had it fill it up or you know just go on that line and that was really simple and that saved me a little uh, aggravation of knowing where to turn the corner or you know saving me maybe having to make a mistake. Each of the daisies were evenly placed on the line and so it just made the project go really simply and if you're making a group of these then all you do is swap out the next stitch for the next project and you're good to go. So how this began was you see my little napkin tiplet and we'll look at this in a minute. These were all of the little napkins, and these are little cocktail napkins, are different, um, have a different stitch and a different little monogram or embroidery. And if you want to try this out, then you want to go to the Bernina website, select Experience, and with Sewing and Embroidery, you want to select the Indigo Cocktails project. You'll see the little thumbnail. You'll select that, and then you can download the PDF, and it has the step-by-step -step instructions of exactly what to do. So this is a sample of, of some of the pages that you can see. So let's take a look at what our process is going to be while we take stitches that go back and forth from the Bernina 880 to the software, why, why that would be an advantage, and what would be the advantage of taking a stitch from the software into the Bernina 880. So let's start with our little pencil tool. Uh, this is our, our stitch designer. It always brings in the stitch that was on, last on the screen. So we're going to clear this and get a different stitch. And if I want to just draw like a daisy, I'm just going to make a series of circles. And then I'm going to come out. And there's my little daisy. And this is what we call freehand drawing. I, was, uh, I started and stopped pretty close to this same line here, with the exception of this little stitch right here. So if I want to get rid of that little piece, which is also causing a little um, a zigzag stitch in my connection, then I can get rid of that. So I want to use the selection tool. I want to select a single stitch. The white dot is where my needle is. And I'm just going to select the trash can to back up. And now I have a pretty continuous area. What if you wish there wasn't so much distance? Well, then you can select the trash can again, and now you're making them just a little bit tighter. If you decide that you wish that stitch were back, you can select the undo button. You have 20 levels of undo. So very simply, we've just designed a little freehand daisy, and we're going to select the check mark. This is now on our sewing screen, and from here you have the capability to save this to a USB stick. So save is always accessed through the personal program. Save is the icon with the arrow going into the folder. And when I select that, I see the USB stick option. So I can select the USB stick, and you can see I've been busy designing and saving stitches. I select the daisy, and now it is saved to my USB stick. At this point, I'm going to take it out of my out of my Bernina 880, and I'm going to carry it over to the Bernina software. And I'll be looking at a page like this. So now I'm going to File and Open, and I'm going to go find my stitches. 
and my stitches are on my USB stick under stitches I believe and the one thing you want to look for is the default is art and your 880 writes in the format of EXP so select the down arrow select all files and now you'll begin to see all of your different files for your design so now you can you can actually click on the EXP version it will give you a little thumbnail of what each of those are and the little daisy that I'm looking for should be right here and I'm going to say open <clears throat> we're going to open the little daisy and the next thing I need to do is select it so select your select object tool and touch the design a bounding box goes around it which just selects everything that you have select settings select create pattern You'll need to give it a pattern set if you haven't already started something. So if you don't have any, you'll need to type in new set and you know maybe you give it your your name. So we'll just say yes, we'll replace with the SF set and we'll put the you know a, the pattern name in. In the lower left hand corner it asks me for the start point for the reference so I click at the top and I click down at the bottom. And I use the bounding box perimeter area so I just go from the highest point to the lowest point to create my pattern and it gives me a little message so at this point I'm going to just close the little daisy and if I wanted to do something with that stitch and know exactly how it was going to stitch out you would want to select your open object tool and an outline and I'm just going to click and draw and I'm following around my screen here so I'm going to select a different tool we're going to draw a rectangle first pretend this is my little my napkin area and now I'm going to go back and select my lines that I want to draw for the stitch to go on so the outside box is the perimeter of the napkin the line that I've just drawn which is the three-sided line that's where I want the daisy stitch to go so using the select object tool it selected the last thing with that I just did I will go to the object properties and select pattern run now I can go into the menus and I can select from the menus that I've created and I've got one called Stitch Designer, I have one called SF, I have one called Web, so we put it in SF, here is my daisy, select OK and apply and I like the way that looks and what you see is that the daisies have been evenly spaced around the uh, on the line as well as the software has figured out how that what's going to happen at that corner and so it gives me a consistent corner and it just gives me the corner that I need from this point you could continue your designing stitches you could replace this stitch with any other stitch but now if I wanted to take this back to the 880 because now I'm ready to embroider this out all you need to do is select the write to card machine and then you would select the USB option and it would write this to the USB stick you would then put this back into the machine and open it up from the USB stick and then you'd be free to embroider this out so I also mentioned that you would there may be stitches from the designer software that you want to take into the Bernina 880 so I'm just going to select everything and delete and I need to get one of these stitches available so I'm going to create an, an open object or select an open object and I'm just going to draw a pretty small line this line I want it to become something else so we'll go back into object properties we're going to select let's select black work because there's lots of great black work stitches look at all of these none of these are in the sewing menu that you can play with on your 880 so you know find a really great one like I really like this one so and then apply and what it's done is it's taken that single line and it's replaced it with the stitch that I want to work with now you can resize this it can be the size you need it to be you can really have a lot of fun with this so I'm done and now all I need to do is select my 
right to machine option, select USB, and then take the stick to the machine and then open it up. So let's do that. So we're going to go back to the Bernina 880. We're going to, I can bring this out into sewing by selecting the up arrow, selecting the transition, selecting the USB stick option, and here are my, my, my stitches. And let's see if I can find my little, <clears throat> there's my stitch. So here is my stitch that I was saving and bringing forward. So now this is, I could sew this out individually, or I could take it into the stitch designer, and perhaps I want to make some additional des designing to it. Or I could take it into the embroidery or into the software. Uh, I could also open it from here from the USB stick option. It is right now coming from sewing. It's in your My Designs folder, and I have this stitch that I can create with shaping, or perhaps do an endless embroidery background with. So let's take a look at. Let's select the medium hoop. And let's select Endless Embroidery, turn off the registration or the reference marks, select Check, select Rotation, a quick rotate, use your eyebread crumb to go back one level, select Endless Embroidery again, and now you've created a fantastic black work background for an embroidery design or perhaps you're texturizing a fabric and you just want it to look a little different than the ones you've been using. So this is a great way to import stitches and to play around with them and to let them go back and forth. Now let's look at, I'm going to go back into sewing, something else that you can do. If I go back to that personal program and I want to retrieve something or get something out. You don't see the USB option here, so you will want to select the transition. Here is your USB option, and what I'm looking for is the candle wicking stitch. So candle wicking is a stitch that doesn't live on your Bernina 880. This I imported over from the embroidery software, just like you saw me do a minute ago. If I want to take this into the stitch designer, what you see is one single stitch. So this is great. Um, I, it would only stitch this one single stitch. So if, I, if I'm at the sewing screen, maybe you only want one. You want to scatter these around something that you've already done, or you just want to put a few of them in place. But if you want to stitch a row of them, you'll notice that the needle ends right in the center, which means that's exactly where it's going to start again. So to make this something that would stitch out in a row, you need to add some traveling stitches. So let's select the, the pencils already selected. I'm going to select Snap to Grid just so I can keep it nice and straight. And I'm going to create a travel stitch out of that center. And I'm going to create with it the spacing that I would like to be in between each of my candle wicking stitches. So now when the check mark is checked, the, this stitch is actually a stitchable stitch on the machine. Now to save this to the machine, because you probably want to keep this around for a while, then you still will use the personal program. You will select the arrow into the folder, and you'll select one of the folders that you save your stitches to. Select one and select the highlighted stitch, and now this has been saved away. One word of um, advice, I've stitched these out. You will need to work with a foot that has uh, like a tunnel on the underneath side, such as foot number 20C. You also will want to use a thread that's fairly light. So the isocord is a lighter weight thread than your quilting threads because you're thicker the thread, the more bulk you're going to have underneath that foot. And if it gets too bulky, you may need to go to foot number 12 or something with a larger a tunnel on the underneath side so the buildup of thread can pass and your stitches are spaced apart. So that's just some of the reasons why you might want to play with working with stitches that go back and forth between the software and the Bernina 880. So I just want to review this slide one more time because we you've seen us take or seen me take the stitches from the stitch designer through personal program, save it to the USB stick, 
open that in the software, and then create, then create a three-sided shape with it. Then you've also seen me select the candle wicking stitch from the software, save that to the USB stick, open that up as a stitch designer stitch, and add some traveling stitches so that I can stitch it out for later. So that is some, these are wonderful opportunities for working with the two together and how they both can help you accomplish your goals depending on you know which way, you know, how you want to sew your project. So I want to thank you for joining us for our tool tip using the Bernina 880 and Embroidery Software 7.